I just want you to observe what happens here when I play the song. Can we my brothers, you know? I go hard every day, I'm hustling daily, you know. It wasn't cool in the trap to survive, you know. All these things that you're seeing here is that when the vocal plays, it reduces those frequencies on the beat that are conflicting with the vocal. What's up guys, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you a trick that you can use to get some clean mixes and also easily get your vocals to sit on the beat with the use of a plugin called Track Spacer by Waves Factory. So without wasting much of your time, let's get into the video. My name is Jay, I make music production tutorials for beginners on YouTube in Cubase and FL Studio. So if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click that post notification bell so that you get notified every time I post a brand new video. So I've received this question a lot of times from people, mostly the upcoming producers. And I know just how difficult it is to kind of get to a place where you're able to balance your vocals and your beat. So I've been getting a question to say, how can I make my vocals sit on my beat? Especially if you're mixing on a mastered beat, sometimes it's not easy to just make your vocals stand out in the mix because uh, some of these already mastered beats they'll come with instruments that will be conflicting with your vocals these instruments will overshadow your vocals in certain areas and you you notice that no matter how much you mix your vocals won't just uh, come out the way that they're supposed to come out so this plugin called track spacer by waves factory it works in such a way that it reduces the frequencies that are conflicting with your vocal on the beat and then makes way for your vocals to stand out also it gives you the ability to set how much of this reduction you want so let me just show you how you can use this plugin to achieve that so what i have here is a, a mix i've got vocals and all these vocals are being routed to a group channel which is this one for lead vox or rather for lead vocals and i've got some backing vocals going to this backing vocal group channel so after you've done your mixing and you've balanced your vocals to the level where you feel like at least they are there but they are not just coming out that much what you can do is go to your beat under effects and add this plugin called track spacer the plugin has got a very simple interface it's got amount here the amount how much you want the reduction to be and it has got these filters you can actually set the frequency range where you want this reduction to be happening mostly it's um, between the mid and the high ends because that's where the most of the vocal is concentrated and most of the things that might be conflicting with your vocal so after you open this plugin what you do is click this uh, arrow here and then just go to add side chain input so when I say add I'll go to my lead vocal group channel. I'm going to add it here. Also, I'm going to add for my backing vocal. So backing vox group channel, which is this one. So I've added my lead vocal in my backing vocal group channel. So whenever this play, I want a reduction in the frequencies on the beat that are conflicting with my vocals. And then I'll just switch it on here. Then you can click on this, go to advanced panel, and then just set it to click on mid side and just set the pan all the way to mid 100%. So I just want you to observe what happens here when I play the song. Can we my brothers, you know? I go hard every day, I'm hustling daily, you know? It wasn't cool in the trap to survive, you know? So what is happening here is that uh, all these things that you're seeing here is that um, when the vocal plays, it reduces those frequencies on the beat that are conflicting with the vocal. So what you do with the amount is set how much of this reduction you want to happen on your beat. So the most important thing is that um, if you do a lot of reduction, then uh, your beat will reduce test and it will reduce its vibe so you just want to do a little bit of reductions so that your vocal is just a little bit dominant and not overshadowed by the beat 
so let me just play with the amount and then i'll reach a point where i feel like this is the right amount of reduction that i want so let's just play this i go hard every day i'm hustling daily you know it wasn't cool in the trap we survive you know we struggle every day just to survive you know you know i never do no groupies always on my own shit stay real to you if you stay real to me i never met no nigga who's honest who's got love for me all right so i feel like uh 4.0 is okay for me there's just a little bit of reduction and uh, the vocal can stand out if you look at the filters there's low cut and high cut so this is where you set the frequency range in which you want this reduction to be happening if i push this all the way this side i want you to notice where this shifts to yeah, with my brothers, you know. I go hard every day, I'm hustling daily, you know It wasn't cool in the trap, we survive, you know We struggle every day just to survive, you know, you know I never do no groupies, always on my own shit Stay real to you if you stay real I never met no nigga who's honest, who's got love for me They just wanna eat from me I go hard and I get it every day And every day I struggle my way Cause I did it done so you just find that point where your vocal comes out and is not overshadowed by the beat, the instruments in the beat. Alright guys, thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you are new to this channel. Also follow me on Instagram. Let's interact there. See you in my next video. Peace.